Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Well, I just got off work and got home. So, I only got my microphone on me right now. I'm just out here feeding the, the lovely ladies their food. A little treat before they go to bed. A little snack before they go to bed. Yeah, they'd be going to bed here in about an hour when, when it gets darker. So, yeah. So, tonight I'm going to try and um, finish up the um, quail cages. Well, the quail cages are done. And I'll show y'all. I just got to. Um, do the watering system and i'm inside the coop by the way looking i gotta collect some eggs but um we're gonna do the watering tonight and then hopefully tonight or tomorrow i will put the quail in their new home hopefully all right guys so the biggest hole saw I got. I've got some bigger, but they're way too big. So I'm gonna start with this first, and I guess I'll take my knife and make it bigger. Okay, so that's one hole. I know it's not big enough because this ain't gonna fit in there like it should. I gotta put this in there. I'll try it and see, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to work. So I'm probably going to take my knife and uh, make it a little bigger. Yeah. So I'm going to take my knife. I might have to get a drill bit. To... But uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. This, if you're going to use a knife, just be very careful so you don't cut yourself. And if you go a little too big, that's fine. Because um, there is gaskets, seals that go on it. A little more. They have these little sills right here. There's two of them. Right there. Here's another one. And then the nut. So. You need to go up. Um, two inches. And the reason why is because. You don't want to go no lower than two inches only because of um if you get like dirt or feathers or something in your bucket then it goes to the bottom and it won't go into your little cups for your quail i know y'all don't see what i'm doing but i forgot to pull off a piece of tape that's on there but right now i'm twisting this in And then when I get it in there, I'm going to um, put my washer, or my gasket, I mean, on it. And then I'm going to put my nut on it. So right there, just be good for now. It'll get tightened when I tighten the bottom one up. So you might have to get a pair of um, pliers or vice grips or whatever you need to get. To uh, 
turn this to make it tighter because you don't want any leaks. And so what I'll do is before I um, install it into in the um, quail cages, I'm going to make sure it doesn't leak. So I don't want water everywhere. So we're going to leave it there for now. Okay, so that's going to go like that. But I need to put another one in right here so that way I can um, get a bigger, another hose or another little piece for my hose. I need to get this other little thing installed. So these, this is a called a bulk head. It's made just for this reason, for the buckets. So I'm going to go up two and a half like I did the last one. You can go two inches if you like. I'm doing two and a half. I'm gonna just take your drill a bit, put it on the line. Well, let's take this piece of the bucket off. Put your drill bit on the line. Screw, screw it in. I'm probably going to have to make it bigger again. Apparently this one has one gasket. Which is odd. And this takes a long time. I guess I, guess I should have made the hole bigger. That way it would have uh, just slid right on in there. So I'm going to do my Teflon tape. Right here. You know, I don't gotta be perfect or anything like that. You just wanna put it around. On your threads. It'll help stop the water from coming out. That be that, and just rip it off, guys. And then I'm just gonna turn it, put it in here, and we're just gonna make sure it's tight. All right, so that's in there. Then I'm going to take this, but it needs to be cut down. I do with my pipe cutters. Here they are. So I'm gonna cut this down. So right here. There's no like certain size or um how far you want it to stick out. It's totally up to you. I mean, all it's gonna do is. Make your bucket sit further back, which, you know, it's fine with me. Um, so that's going to go there. I need to go get the glue and glue that. I'm going to use this box as my little table right here. So I'm going to try and get all the dirt out as much as you can. I'm just going to... Put some glue on here, and then I'm gonna, oh, and I'm gonna slide it 
right on in there. But what I need to do first, guys, I need to get these all glued up. Come on. Some of this is not glued up. So I need to glue this up real quick. And you got to get this straight. If not, their cups are going to be all wacky. All right, guys. That's glued up. I'm going to set it over here. Let it dry for a few minutes or seconds while I do this other one. Just that piece. Okay. So we're going to repeat itself over. Sorry if y'all can't see me. I'll do my best to show y'all. So what we're doing is taking these two PVC pipes pieces and gluing them together making sure they're straight just like that put this one in there like so that's all good like that I'm gonna let that sit there and dry up for a minute I'm gonna close the glue up so we're going to go inside the chicken brooder slash quail cage just over here area which is right here and we're going to do some work in here for a minute i might go right there i don't want to go too low i don't want to go too high And all you want to do is um, cut the little holes out. These will slide in like that. And then I'm going to take this little zip tie that I have. I'm going to zip tie it up here just to hold it in place. So now I'll just measure from here. To here add that pipe what I forgot to do is to glue this piece on I need to glue this piece on you know some people don't use glue but I am so I don't want no water leaks but some people don't use it because there's no pressure to it so, either way, I'm doing it. All right. So, we're going to do the same thing like we did up here. Probably going to put it right. Uh, probably going to put it right in here.
I mean, once I get all this glue, before I uh, glue the bucket to the rest of it, I'm going to go fill the bucket up full of water and make sure that it doesn't leak before I uh, put it in here. All right, so let me open this up. I forgot that I got to cut this open. I forgot I nailed it shut when I was putting the cage on there. So now I've got to cut it free. So now I can get in there and zip tie. This other one up. So now we just got to uh, get our pipes cut and um, hope we have enough. So, what we need to do first, guys, before anything else happens, we need to test this bucket out. Before we do anything else. So let's go test this bucket out and make sure there's no leaks. If there's a leak, we're gonna have a problem. So I'll put this bucket right here. And that's Finn Finn right there. He's making sure I did everything right. Sorry for the wiggle waggle. All right, guys. So make sure you tell me if you see water. So y'all can't see me right now. But I'm going to go ahead and put up um, glue and glue this PVC in this valve right here, the ball valve. I'm going to go ahead and glue that up. And then I'm going to come out there to y'all. I'm going to glue this ball valve in this bucket. Real quick. And while that's drying, I'm going to take me some measurements. So I know what measurements I need. For the rest of the plumbing. So, guys, I'm putting that ball valve right there. That way, um, if I ever need to disconnect the bucket from the rest of the watering system I can turn the water off and you'll see in a minute below here I'm gonna put the um quick the um the quick disconnect um right there which is also gonna be a compression as you'll see in a minute so we're gonna let that we're going to let that um, glue dry for a minute. I'm going to take a quick measurement. All right, that should be dry enough. So let's put some water in there and fill it up and see if anything leaks. Well, I'm starting to see one. So it looks like, guys, we need to tighten that up some more. So uh, let's do that now well i had a pipe wrench but i think it's still out there in a the pole barn now it's been a while since i've done this but we're gonna see if i can get it any tighter than what it is
let's uh, move to where it's a drier spot. Let's try this again. What y'all say about that? Well, can y'all see? Y'all let me know if any water comes out now. Uh-oh. Boss man watching. So I'm looking right down here to see if I see any water. All right, so now the water's right here above that valve, above that bulkhead. And guys, we're good. I don't see any water, nowhere, nowhere at all. Now we're going to open this valve. And there's water coming out of the valve. That's normal. That's okay. That's what you want to see, guys. No leaks. So this right here is the compression adjuster fitting. That's going to help me disconnect and connect this and i will show y'all where it goes so when you take it apart you're going to have this little black little ring right here which goes on Well, we probably won't use that. There's not enough room there. So we might end up using this other one. It's a little smaller. So I'm going to actually cut this pipe down a little further. Maybe in half. I've got plenty of pipe. I just got to get it right before I um, glue it. And what we'll do... Put this in right there. Okay, so this is going to go right there. This is going to go in there. This is going to go right there. And we've got it. And you tighten this up right here, guys, where you see me tightening up. Just like that. And now it's tight. It's solid. And it won't go nowhere. Now I just got to take it off so I can get everything glued up. You know, none of this is glued. So now I got to glue everything. That way now I see it's a perfect match. So I'll get everything glued. Even this one. So what I'll probably do is glue my pieces on. And glue this on. And I'll glue this on. And I still hope it fits. So that's glued. So now I'm going to try this again without it. Without everything, the top piece being glued. Just to make sure. And see. It ain't fitting now. Alright guys, so I got that in there. 
Now we're going to squeeze this down. All right, so that's good. So now I just need to glue that top piece. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to push it and hold it in place because apparently it doesn't want to stay. All right. So that's it, guys. On that. So now what I need to do is I need to get the cups and uh, put the cups in. So I'm going to screw these cups in. And with these cups, they're going to get some water out of it. You don't want to over tighten these cups. There is a gasket on it. Which I cannot see right now. So I don't know where I'm at on these. I'm going to have to get the light to shine to reach. They're probably right there. Uh, yeah, guys, it's a little weird. I should do this at daytime. But I don't, I'm trying to get it done. That way I can get the birds in here tomorrow. But I put a little bit of uh, Teflon... Teflon tape. So that way it would um that was having little problems. I need to put the light down for a minute. So uh For some reason, this is not on right. There it goes. I got it now. The little cup wasn't on the little the black thing right, so it wasn't turning. For some reason, it's still not turning. So, tomorrow, well, whenever I have time before the birds go in, I'll make sure there's no leaks on these cups. Then I'll make my adjustments if there is leaks. But there shouldn't be no leaks. So now I'm down here on the bottom ones. Doing these at the same time. Try not to get stabbed in the back by the door. So. Once I get the cups in, it's pretty much done other than testing it, you know, making sure all the water and all that is um good. I pretty much had all the piping already. I didn't really have to buy much for this. But I did have to buy the cups. 
the bucket. And um, some pipe fittings. But other than that, I didn't have to cut or I didn't have to buy much. So that's good. Now all the all this wood in the cage or the fence I had to buy. I didn't have no more leftover stuff like I used to have. And I had to buy these trays that you see right here. So in this cup right here is a yellow thing. Okay. When they hit that, the water come out. So the cup should never have water in it. And it should never get really dirty. So they'll go in there in the pipe. They'll go in here. And then when they're thirsty, they will tap. That yellow thing, the yellow little bobber there, and it releases water. And then when they're done drinking, then that's it. They'll stop. But they have to tap the yellow needle there to get the water, or it won't come out. So this is my last one. And uh, we'll see what happens. Other than my mess, I'm going to clean all that. But my bucket is done. And everything is glued. I'm going to put on. All my, this valve is off, but now it's on. And um, that valve is off down there. So I added. I didn't show y'all. But I added this piece here off camera. Sorry, guys. Then I added this valve here off camera. So what would happen is if I ever need to drain all this water out and clean it, I put a bucket under here, turn the valve on, and water will come out and fill the bucket up. And I just toss the bucket and water outside and refill it. That's to clean and empty all these lines out. So I might um, go back, maybe when it starts getting cold, getting some um, insulation for the pipes and insulating all these pipes so it doesn't freeze. But I'm going to try and fix this area where it's insulated and where the temperature will stay good in it. So, all right, guys. Well, that's it for tonight. We'll get back at it tomorrow. Test these water lines out. Put some dust, some uh, wood chips in these trays. And uh, put the birds in the cage. I appreciate y'all watching. And uh, we'll get back at it when we get more sunlight. Hey, guys. So... If you like the video hit that like button subscribe and hit the uh, notification button that way you get notified when we um make our videos and this is finn y'all have a good day watch that bucket boy you're gonna watch it let me know when it's dry okay let me know when it's dry Alright, that should be dry enough, so let's put some water in there and fill it up.